400 mile wide storm moving up the coast of Florida, making a second landfall on Marco Island. Look at this. This is just incredible. The hurricane then moving slightly up the coast, hitting us here in Naples after 4 p.m. The hurricane hovering right above. We are blocked by two sort of concrete barriers, which is the only reason we're able to talk. It feels like you're being blasted with the fire hose. Now the rains are just coming in sideways here, and the winds just continue to pick up. The highest wind gusts from Hurricane Irma here in Florida, 142 miles per hour. There's a giant vacuum sucking everything out. Naples residents rushing to shelters, this mother and daughter and granddaughter making it so just cute. in time. Pandemonium. We were very nervous, very scared. The shelter door cracking under the pressure as the National Guard taped up the glass, people clearing the front doors, bracing for impact. They actually just cleared out this whole area. This room was packed with people just in awe, watching the winds just pick up. For a time, our own team seeking shelter in a stairwell. This is what happens when these buildings, and just be careful, Tom, the awnings on the outside, the, the outside of the building actually are crashing down, breaking these windows inside the hotel. But Hurricane Irma was not finished yet. Continuing on her northward path, Fort Byers next. Tom Yamas was there. Hurricane Irma is right over us right now, and I'm a little concerned about the projectiles, but at this hour, Fort Myers is getting absolutely ripped apart. At 11 p.m., the storm was then centered 50 miles southeast of Tampa. The mayor of that city said they were about to be tested. We have a densely populated area of some 3 million people who are now either need to be out of here or they need to be hunkered down. I wall the storm containing the storm's ferocious and violent winds, then passing over Sarasota. For Sarasota, for Tampa Bay, the wind is blowing offshore with the current track, so the, the, there is no storm surge here yet. By the, then, hopefully, folks are uh, in shelter and away from the water. And this morning, Sarasota is still on high alert amid storm surge warnings up the coast. So many of these families have yet, obviously, to come home and see the damage left behind by this hurricane. But, Robin, I have to tell you, I remember being in the Superdome in Katrina as that storm barreled through the roof, uh, sort of ripping off as we were all inside. And I can only imagine what it was like for the thousands of Floridians who were inside these shelters all throughout the state. And particularly, keep in mind, that track shifted very quickly over the weekend. Many people had to uh, very hurriedly get out of their homes and get to the nearest shelter here, Robin. And, David, what was it like for you being in that high rise as those winds hit with such huge force? Well, it was really stunning to see. We were on the balcony protected, but the top of the roof began coming off, the, the tiles flying into the air, the debris shooting through. Uh, that's when the entire team went into that stairwell for a time. And, and as Ginger and Rob predicted, then the eye was over us. And there was suddenly this lull, this calm in the storm, sort of extraordinary, extraordinary to see this science overhead. And I should point out, Robin, nearly 6 million people here in Florida without power this mm. morning and likely waiting to come home to see the damage. Yeah, that